This is Oklahoma's own News 9. Inside the Oklahoma County Detention Center, inmates say they need better access to health care. They tell the Citizens Advisory Committee they are struggling both physically and mentally. Our Angelicia Bruton spoke with jail leaders on what kind of changes could be made. With surveys in hand, committee members check into the Oklahoma County Detention Center. We've got two more coming. They're taken upstairs to talk to inmates in the men and women pods something they do monthly. Those closest to the pain ought to be closest to the power, and, and they ought to be included in, in making those decisions. New monthly booking info shows more than two-thirds of people in custody have been here at the jail before. The committee says they want to improve their quality of life before and after their release. Steele says they asked about things like living conditions, programs, and the quality of food. He says he was told the food is better, but the medical care is still a concern. One of the things that was mentioned today is that there is a need for additional site checks. Jail Trust Interim CEO Brandy Gardner says these issues are not surprising. There are several medical initiatives in the works right now, starting with updating the booking process. They get a full medical intake before we ever allow them to be brought into custody of our facility. And prioritizing medical OR bonds. We're evaluating every person that's in custody for significant mental health or medical issues, and we're passing that information along to the district attorney, to the court to the public defender, and we are letting them know we have somebody in here that is at significant risk of declining while they're here. Garner believes this will help lower the number of jail deaths in the facility. It's also a recommendation made from the grand jury report. That there are deficiencies in access to both physical health and mental health services right now at this time. Um, very, very clearly heard that there are improvements being made, but that's still um, uh, a significant issue. Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.